Hi, this is Joel Reinke with Mountain Multimedia and Web Design Mountain. Today we're going to be doing a wonderful tutorial on how to make a tree in Photoshop using a painterly type technique. Now go ahead and start up your Photoshop, open a new document and make it 2000 by 2000 pixels and uh, fit it to the screen or whatever your preference is. And uh, bring the brush up, make a nice dark brown and open up your thick heavy brushes and use the second to last one there and we're going to use shape dynamics with fade and minimum diameter set to zero and the steps of the fade go to 700. We're going to size up the brush to 175 pixels and this first stroke will be for the trunk of the tree give it a little bit of a curve and wiggle or gnarl to your first uh, one but not too much make it pretty straight there and then we size down the brush step to 150 pixels and take the fade steps down to 600 this will this size we'll use for the next couple branches and then we're going to keep sizing it down from there now this one I started a little bit too late in the trunk and it just doesn't look natural so I'm going to undo that and start it there a little bit earlier in the trunk so it fits sizing it down another step 125 still the same amount of fade steps and do a windy little branch right there now we're going to keep going down in size and we're gonna do one more with the 600 on the fade but then we're gonna start to shrink it down to give it yeah so now we take it down to 400 and we're gonna do more of the small smaller branches to fill this out yeah I'm gonna keep going down in size now on this part it helps to drink coffee so your hands a little shaky to give it that nice little craggy look and you know we can give it a nice Tim Burton look tree or whatever style you want the same technique can be used to make all different types of trees you just have to know which one you're going for Hey, it's always a party when you're playing with Photoshop. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can start doing a little bit more detailed work here. After you've looked over this uh, tutorial, you can also go to webdesignmountain.com for more resources and so probably put a copy of this file on there so you have a nice um, base example of a tree with a nice transparent background so it could be useful for many type of purposes. Uh, this is only going to be step one in the series of tutorials on how to make a tree and this step is about blocking in the tree, giving it the shape and uh, future steps will be about how to add shading to the tree to give it the real look for three-dimensional and adding leaves in various different styles so those ones are going to those steps of the tutorial will be a little bit more open-ended and uh, you'll have a lot of different options after this point but this is a great base technique for doing trees
finally we're going to be adding some roots using the same technique with maybe a little bit less uh, wiggle and twist to these but still you want to give it a good gnarly root look oh yeah and for this uh, tutorial I was using a Wacom pen tablet for this one but I've also done the same type of thing with a mouse and it, I get good results with that too because of the uh, jagged nature of what we're looking to do so there you have it a nice tree and look forward to seeing you for the next steps